Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Google Cloud server to host your proxies rather than using a Vulture server, um, which was used in Sneaker Handbook's tutorial video. Um, so the Google Cloud server is still a Linux server, so it's still Ubuntu 16.04. Um, the benefits of using Google Cloud to host it um, is that you have your server, your proxy server host, and your proxies all in one place, so you don't have to keep flicking back between Vulture and Google Cloud. Um, you can use the $300 dollars free credit to also host a proxy server um, and finally you can use your vulture servers um, much less regularly before hyped releases um, just because um, of the fact that vulture servers are in much uh, sort of scarce quantity than Google Cloud servers um, so they are often out of stock which you don't want when trying to make proxies for a drop so the first thing you need to do is you need to go onto this website here. Um, I'll put the link in the description and in the guides channel. Um, what you'll find is you'll find two installers, one for 32-bit, one for 64-bit. You should be able to know, um, you should be able to find out what system um, your computer is. Uh, most modern systems will be 64-bit. Anything sort of before like 2008, 2009 uh, may be 32-bit, but you need to find it out yourself. So what you do is download the installer, um, run the installer, just go through all the steps, um, just sort of like a simple installation. You don't need to do anything advanced. And when you've done that, um, you should be able to type in PuTTY and you should be able to see something called putty gen. So you, this is the software we're going to be dealing with, putty gen, not putty, okay? So open up putty gen, and what you'll see is you'll get a putty key generator, and you'll see no key in whatever. Let's just leave this as it is for now. Don't close it, just sort of leave it open in the background running. Okay, fine. So next thing you need to do is you need to sort of organize um, your Google Cloud. So um, what I tend to do is I tend to have three projects um, per Google account. So I've got one called server, got one called proxies host and I've got one called proxies. So on your server, you're running your server. On your proxies, you, you, you've got your proxies running um, and your proxies host, that's where you're going to be running your Ubuntu 16.04 and this is sort of the alternative to Vulture. Okay, so let's. So today we're just going to be focusing on proxies host. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go into navigation menu, open that up, go down to compute engine and then go all the way up to VM instances. Okay, so normally uh, what you'll be able to do, um, for example, with a server is you're just going to create um, and then you'll just find your location, you'll just change it to 16, Ubuntu 16.404, allow the firewall, um, and then you'll be able to create and then sort of just join, join onto that. That's what you would think, right? Um, unfortunately, the way Google works um, is that it wants some sort of additional security. So it doesn't just give you like a simple username and password like Vulture does. Um, you sort of have to create a key system, um, which is obviously a safe way to a than a password because you have like an individual unique key um, on your computer. Um, but it is a bit more frustrating when setting it up. Luckily for us, um, we only have to do this once, and once you've saved a key, you can keep reusing that key forever and ever, and then it's 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 actually really simple. I actually find it easier to use this than Vulture anyway, after you've done it the first time around. So, um, let's go back, and let's scroll down to metadata. So, um, it's going to look a little bit complicated, um, but try to bear with, slow down the video if you need to, or rewind. Um, so if you click here, um, you've got metadata and you've got metadata and SSH keys. What we're going to be dealing with is SSH keys. So I mentioned keys earlier. Keys are essentially like a password. Um, they're a little bit more, uh, a little bit more advanced in that um, they sort of have a long string of characters um, followed by a username, and that is sort of your unique identifier. So what will happen is your computer will have a key. Um, you then copy and paste that key into Google Cloud and by doing so um, your computer and Google Cloud will match keys and therefore you'll be allowed to connect with your computer um, to the Google Cloud server. Okay, So let's click add SSH keys and here's going to be a big text box allowing you to paste your key data in. We don't have a key yet so that's what we've got uh, the putty key generator for. So first thing you need to do is just click generate, just move your mouse over a little bit, it randomizes the key and then you'll have your key here. Okay, so here's your key, um, all this stuff in this big box here, um, lots of random characters, you can ignore this for now. Fingerprint, you can just ignore, leave that as it is. Key comments, so this is actually quite important, so it starts you off with sort of some random characters. Um, we need this to be root and the reason we need it to be root is that's just that's just how it is with this script, we sort of need um, the username to be root for you to be able to connect. Don't worry about a passphrase, don't worry about confirming passphrase, you don't need that, um, no one's going to be hacking into your your proxy script, okay? 
Um, so what you should do is you've got all this information now. What you'll see at the bottom of this key is now it says equals equals root, um, and then basically whatever your your key comment is or your username, that will be at the end of your key. So that's sort of how you know that you've got you've done your key right. You should be able to see root at the at the end of it. So what you should do is you need to save private key. And then you can just name it anything you like, but save this somewhere which you're going to be familiar where it's saved. So, for example, save it to your desktop or save it in a folder um, dedicated to these keys um, and somewhere that's easy to locate for you later. So I'm just going to call this um, 456, save, and then that's done. So what you should do now is just copy this whole key. So what I tend to do is go right to the end and just drag everything, Control c to copy, and then let's paste this into this text box on Google Cloud under SSH keys. And there you go, that's your key done. So all you need to do now is save that. Okay, and then you sweep that to save, it will give you a notification at the bottom when it's done. There you go, so successfully saved SSH keys. That's perfect. So what you need to do now is we need to go into VM instances and let's create our proxy host server. So I'm just going to make it in London. Um, we need to change it to Ubuntu 16.04 LTS, that's the software we're going to be running and click select. And then the only other thing we need to change is firewall settings. So both these should be ticked and that's it. So just to confirm you don't need to change anything else other than the location, the software and the firewall settings. Then click create and then wait for it to load up. Okay, so now it's loaded up. Um, what you need to do is search for WinSCP. You should already have this downloaded. If you don't, just Google WinSCP and download it. And then when you open WinSCP, the first thing it will ask you to do is to connect to a host. Um, so here are the settings you need. So your file protocol should be SFTP. Your port number should be 22. And that's all there is at the start. Okay, so what you need to do is get the external IP of your proxy host server. Just copy the whole thing and then open up WinSCP again. Your host name, that is the IP address. So control V to paste. And as you can see, there's a little space at the end of this. So what you need to do is remove that space and always remember to remove it because it can mess you up a little bit. So just backspace, remove that. Username needs to be root in lowercase, as I mentioned earlier, and your password. Um, as Google Cloud, as I said earlier, doesn't give you a password as such. You have to use a key. This is where you now bring your key out to connect the two. So if you click advanced, you go down to SSH, you click authentication, private key file. Now you have to navigate to your private key. So here's mine, 456. Um, just navigate to yours, whatever it is. And the type of file it is, is a .ppk file. So this is a private key. So if you used a public key earlier, when generating the key, it wouldn't work. Um, if you followed the video and instructions, which I said, um, you should have a private key as well. So click open and then click OK. Okay, so that's done. All you should do now is click login, then just click yes, and there you go. Now you're in. So now you're in exactly the same stage as you would be with Vulture. Um, so um, if I then want to go and copy in the Google Cloud software script, even there you go. And now we just run it like you would, um, like you would with Vulture. And that's literally it, guys. Um, so I'm just going to show you now how it's quicker um, and why you should be doing this rather than Vulture. So let me just quit this session. Okay, I'm just going to delete this instance. Another tip for you guys is if you don't want to waste time um, making every single server from scratch, um, you can just make a template and then you can just make the server or whatever from this template. So I'm just going to make one now. So um, just for the proxy host, so I'm just going to make it Ubuntu 16.04 firewall, and then I'm just going to um, I'm just going to name it uh, proxy host template, and then everything else can be sort of one CPU, um, sort of like just the default settings. Okay, I'm going to click create. Okay, so all you need to do now is um, right click there and then create a VM, which is a virtual machine. 
from that. And then um, what it will do is it will um, basically have all these settings already set up for you. Um, so as you can see Ubuntu and then we'll have the firewall settings already set up. All you need to change is your region. So I'm just going to make mine London. I'm just going to create. So while this is still loading up, I'm just going to show you that you don't actually need, so once you've sort of done that for the first time, you've set up the um, the key, the key pairing, um, you don't need, you'll never need to open up Key Generator again, that's sort of, that's done now, you'll never need to use it again, um, you'll just have this, so you'll just make the VM instance like I've done here, you'll just open up WinSCP, um, all you'll do is you just paste the IP in, uh, change the username to root, and then you go into password, authentication, you find your key, Click OK, log in, and then you're done. And then you, then you, and then you're literally just ready to get on and create the script. As, this, as you can see, it's a lot quicker than using Vulture, um, as it's all within Google Cloud. Um, what I tend to do is while the prox while this server's loading up, I make, I go make my actual server. Um, and then you can sort of run them simultaneously, and it's just a lot. It just saves a bit of time. Um, it saves you waking up, you know, 20 minutes earlier than you would have to um, for a drop. So this is. Um, been my little tutorial for creating a Ubuntu instance on Google Cloud. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Mm. Cheers, guys.